guys welcome back this video today is going to talk about all the ways I've changed since having a baby so since I've become a mom what things have changed both physically emotionally mentally um, did I say physically oh gosh mom brain is real and that's probably the number one thing that's changed is my ability to remember things and um, like just be efficient with my mind. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with exhaustion and like lack of deep sleep, but let's get right into the list of things that have changed. Uh, some good, some bad, some indifferent, I guess. So um, let's get on with the first, well, the second now topic. So I wanna talk about physical changes. So. Obviously, your body goes through so much during pregnancy, and it's quite a miracle. And it takes a toll on you, essentially. So your recovery period and all of that postpartum kind of shapes how you feel about even having more kids and um, how you recover and how you feel confident-wise, confidence-wise, after you have your baby and the months coming up. I am 10 months postpartum and the physical changes like both hormonally and like physically have been a little interesting. So I'll start off with hairier. So pregnancy made me a little hairy and I thought they would just naturally go away along with like all the other postpartum hair loss, which I got a ton of and now I have all of these tiny I don't know if you could see that curly hairs that are super annoying to style but besides that um, I thought I would lose the extra hair but I haven't so my mustache <laughs> real life guys this is real life I now have to wax a mustache and I never had this like shadow before I think like prior to having Emma I maybe waxed it like once a year and now I feel like I have to do it once a month. It's insane. I don't know if that's like nursing hormones still, if that'll go away once I stop nursing, um, but then potentially I'll be pregnant again. So I don't know how that works, but guys, if you guys have gotten more hairy, like my back too, my legs are hairier. Like I'm Portuguese, so I'm like used to being, you know, hairier, but uh, like dark haired. But this is like another level. I, of course, am saggier. <laughs> so this goes without saying, I mean, when you're pregnant, you blow up and your skin stretches a lot in all places, your arms, your legs, your belly, obviously, your boobs. So everything, once it shrinks down, gets saggy. Like my arms now have the mom sag. <laughs> So that's one thing that's changed um, and I totally embrace it I'm not like ashamed or like self-conscious about it at all but um, it is definitely like my legs too and my butt because they I gained like I don't know it was like 50 60 pounds in my pregnancy like along with the belly and all that but like I had a lot of swelling and like once your skin goes back once you go back to normal you have a lot of sex so that's one thing that uh, yeah that has changed in my motherhood journey um, I am skinnier now you guys might hate me for this actually I know you're gonna hate me for this but I am skinnier now 10 months postpartum than I was when I lost all the weight before I got pregnant and probably skinnier than I was in college. Actually, I know I was skinnier. So I'm probably down to my high school weight, which is insane. Um, I will be doing a video on what I eat, but um, another point I have actually on this list is that I eat healthier now that I'm a mom, but I have lost a lot of weight and part of it is because I don't have time to eat full healthy meals anymore like some days I will go with a bowl of cereal in the morning and I'll have a couple of bites at lunch or I'll have like a peanut butter sandwich for great my neighbor's doing construction that's awesome okay so 
hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys too much because I have to get this done she's sleeping so I will I will have like cereal and then like nothing until like three o'clock so I know that's horrible and I do not recommend you doing that at all but it's just my schedule and how busy I am and I try my best to put whatever I can in healthy as possible but sometimes I just don't have time to prepare a salad or like PB and J is like so quick so I've been kind of living off of those um, I am also stronger so I did CrossFit for a couple of months way back when I was um, just graduated college so back in 2010 2009 and I got really strong but I never got this strong so my arms I don't know if you guys can see that even here like that's solid that's insane from carrying my baby so um, the, yeah that's crazy like I'm jacked and I just carry my 20 pounder I think she might be 20 pounds now so those are all of the physical changes that have changed with me in motherhood and I want to talk about the emotional and kind of um, changes about my personality even so um, I definitely have more anxiety so I had a little bit of anxiety pre baby but this anxiety is different it's not about me anymore it's about her and her well-being so I think this is natural for all mothers and um, kind of like the scale of how much anxiety depends on the person and kind of like where you live and your situation but I find I have some days overwhelming anxiety so I have gone through cognitive behavioral therapy before so I know how to manage my anxiety um, so if you do have anxiety and you haven't talked to anyone I highly recommend it because they give you the tools to really step out of the anxiety and cope with it so along with talking to a professional and friends um, I highly recommend doing that sorry I don't know if that made sense but basically my anxiety is about the well-being of my daughter if we're going out into the city you guys know you've read the news the sadness that's going on in the world the world events the safety factor especially with you know bomb threats and all of that like it is not as safe as safe of a world as it used to be so um, just going out doing my regular errands in a big city is is stressful it's it's anxious like I get anxiety about it but I have to do it so um, it doesn't prevent me but I definitely don't do as much out and about as I would have if it was a safer world if that made sense um, I have become a germaphobe yep so this is partially my fiance's fault and um, when I had her when I first had her I was very very strict about everyone had to wash their hands when they got into my house they had to sanitize before touching the baby like constantly if you cough in your hand if you do anything like sanitize and wash sanitize and wash I cannot count how many times I wash my hands on a daily basis like I and I wash my floors daily like I have become like I sanitize everything all the time she's 10 months old I probably don't have to be this crazy but I am like I have Clorox wipes and I use them on the stroller and my cell phone the remote anything that is touched daily like handles um, light switches uh, like handles on cupboards and stuff I do that all almost on a daily basis <laughs> That's how much of a germaphobe I am. I don't let like random strangers touch my baby. Um, I have sanitizer hanging from my stroller. Actually, I have like two sanitizers on my stroller. Um, yeah, I've just become a germaphobe, and I don't know. I don't know if it's like 100% healthy to be this way. I mean, it's obviously during flu season and cold season, it's the way to go if you don't want to get sick. But I know some germs are healthy to expose your baby to, so I don't, I'm not like super like watching of her. If we're at a friend's house and she's playing with a toy, I don't like sanitize the toy before I let her have it. So she is exposed to germs still. Um, I'm not like that crazy. But I am more crazy than I ever have been. I think, yeah, 
just having a baby has made me a germaphobe. So, um, time efficiency. I am definitely more time efficient now that I'm a mom. I realize that nap times are only so long and they are not for certain. So I have to get stuff done regardless of, you know, circumstances like construction upstairs. So I have to get it done because this is nap time and I want to get a video up for you guys this week. So, um, time management, getting stuff done and not delaying or being lazy. Definitely. Like I would sit and watch YouTube for hours upon hours when I was pregnant or like even before. And now I barely watch an hour of YouTube a week. So, um, yeah, that's, that's mom, mom life right there. Um, I am more driven to su succeed. So I have now a reason to be successful, to pass on whatever legacy I create in this world to my ch my children. So I definitely have this drive to be successful and be the best person that I can be and showing her and being a role model that if you dream of something you can achieve it and that's definitely what I want to teach her so it's just like this natural drive I now have. Okay, so this is some of the ugly stuff now. So identity as being a mom and a wife has been a struggle for me. So this might be TMI and I do apologize if any family or friends watches this video and they are like, whoa, that's too much. But basically, and I'm sure a lot of moms are like this, I'm sure I'm not the only one, but this area here is no longer, is no longer his. It's now my children's <laughs> so um, whenever we're intimate or anything like that or if he just wants to cuddle like this is totally off limits now and I think that's because I'm nursing and you know I see it as my nourishment and my connection with my daughter that I don't see it as anything sexual anymore so it's kind of hard to turn off the mom in me to be the wife in me if that makes sense so that's a struggle. Um, patience with my dog. Where's my dog? There's Dash. And he has been in my life for almost nine years now. And I have loved him as my own child up until I had a child. And I know this is going to sound really bad, but my relationship with him has changed. It is I still love him, I still cuddle him when I can, but it's not nearly as much as he's used to um, before baby. And I also don't have patience for him because I'm running around, I'm crazy busy, and I'm dealing with the baby, I don't have time for him to whine about wanting fresh water. So I change his water every morning, give him fresh food, and he is so picky with the temperature of his water so he needs to have cold water to drink it like if it's room temperature or warmer he will not drink it and he'll sit at his bowls and he'll whine and complain until i change his water so that's one thing that's driving me absolutely nuts and i don't have patience for it so he's getting used to drinking water at room temperature because i just don't have patience that and his barking just drives me absolutely nuts i just want to like punt him one but I don't I just yell at him or use the pet corrector I still love him I still love him but uh, yeah he drives me nuts probably the exhaustion doesn't help with that okay I have to be really quick because this is like a ranting video but um, what else has changed um, my relationship with my mom which is a good thing um, I can now pretty much talk about anything with her I wasn't too comfortable before like talking about like periods and boys and all of that but now that I have a daughter and I see how much I would want her to confide in me and say certain things I'm more confident saying it to my mom if that makes sense um it's just different now and I do apologize for that noise guys I'm so sorry that's so annoying hopefully you don't hear it too much on camera um Okay, so last but not least is I eat healthier and I say that but then I kind of contradict myself at the beginning about how I don't have time but because I'm more conscious about uh, like the fruits and vegetables 
and getting protein and the right vitamins for my daughter, I am now more conscious about what I'm putting in my body. Um, so I have been a vegetarian for about three weeks now. I have been a vegetarian on and off my whole life. I'll go through spells like where like six months I won't eat any meat products. Um, but having said that, since I was born, I have never really eaten any beef or pork or really a lot of fish. I eat seafood and chicken my whole life on and off. So for me to cut out chicken and like crab and shrimp and all of that is not a big deal because I didn't really have a lot of it. Um, I don't eat steak, I don't eat burgers, I don't eat, um, you know, bacon, anything like that ever. So like even when I was a little girl, um, I think I had a hot dog once or twice um, and a burger once. I've never had like a steak or ribs or anything like that. So for me to cut that out is like fine and I've been doing really well with um, like vegan recipes and vegetarian recipes. I found a new YouTube channel called, well it's not a new, it's new to me, Hot for Food. It's a vegan um, YouTube channel but they make vegan food like food you actually want to eat like it's not like super healthy it is but it's not like marketed that way it's like okay you're you want mac and cheese but you want a vegan mac and cheese they have an awesome recipe for it so I've been doing really well with like vegetarian vegan meals and I contribute that to the weight loss as well not eating out I think we order in maybe twice a month if that um, we ordered pizza last weekend and it was like half vegetarian half uh, with chicken on it but I got a severe TMJ um, which call it reaction so right now I cannot open my mouth more than that two fingers normally you can put like three or four when you open your mouth but my jaw is stuck so talking is a little uncomfortable I cannot eat sandwiches or anything like that right now um, I can't even put a banana in my mouth <laughs> so that sucks I am seeing a TMG jaw specialist so I'm looking forward to that seriously like the worst time my daughter is sleeping you've been quiet all day and now you're making noise and I'm filming it's so annoying okay I do apologize guys I think that's all I wanted to talk about um I think so motherhood is not easy it's definitely not easy but I wouldn't change it for the world I love my daughter and I am so happy to be her mom these are just some of the things that have changed since becoming a mom and I do hope you guys um, embrace the changes and if you're struggling with certain changes to seek help to talk about it uh, comment down below what has changed that has um, either sorry guys hashtag real life <laughs> um, Comment down below what has changed for you, good or bad. Um, maybe someone has some advice for you. And I will catch you guys in my review video that's coming out on Friday. I have received um, baby blankets months ago. You guys saw it in my um, nursery tour video. I absolutely love them so I decided to do a full review for you guys like showing the different sizes some different prints options ways to use the blanket so I will be posting that video on Friday with a coupon code so check out for that I am also filming my mommy baby favorites video that will be going up this week as well and what else I think that's it yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I hope and there's my dishwasher. <laughs> Anything else that wants to ruin this video? Jeez. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Bye.